Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let me get my shout outs out of the way. Uh, the first one is Raven Newbie FPV, and the second one for the shout out is Tech Guy. Both Raven Newbie FPV and Tech Guy were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, congratulations, guys. What do I got for you today? This is the Yao Toys, Y I L E Toys, S16 Spider. What is the Spider? It is a folding drone, as you can see here. Unusual shape folding drone. This one's been out for a few months. Um, I didn't get a chance to review the the first release of this. Uh, this version here is the two megapixel 720p version. I guess when it first came out, it was uh, you know uh, 0.3 megapixel Wi-Fi FPV. Now they got it available in uh, 720p, and that's why I want to re uh, review it today. But again, it is a folding drone. <laughs> Let's take a look at it here. Uh, the arms just fold outward like so. Uh, notice its legs, though. Its legs don't fold up. So, you know, I don't know the benefit of being able to fold it, but it does fold and unfold. <laughs> Makes it a little more compact, but not completely because of these legs. So keep that in mind. And you have a 720p camera that can be tilted up or down. I am going to keep it level uh, with... The, the ground here mainly because I want to do it use it mainly for selfie pictures now notice the antenna on the back so we do have Wi-Fi FPV this transmits video to your phone uh, using its app which is the what is the I think it's FYD FPV yeah FYD FPV app uh, that's somewhat of a famous app it's used on other other drones so it's available on Google Play and iTunes uh, this is powered by a 900 milliamp per hour battery Pretty big battery, it's in there. It doesn't look, look 900 milliamp hour, it looks more like, well, I guess it is 900 milliamp per hour. But notice it uses white low C connectors, which means you can use also, there's plenty of other available batteries out there that will can be used with this. And this battery bay, if you look in there, is very big. So you could put larger batteries in here, you know, like a thousand milliamp per hour or 1100 milliamp per hour, I've seen those with white low C. Or you can use just plain old CMX 5C batteries with this and going flying. So that's the drone. It's got an on-off switch. I forgot to show that. On-off switch there. But that's about it. That is the drone. Now it does have altitude hold and one key return of course. Um, going over its controller. Uh, this is for your different rates. You know beginner, intermediate, expert. If you want to do flips you press this button here. It does have headless mode and one key return. Quick press for headless mode, long press for one key return. It says this is a photo and video button, but that does not work with this since this is a Wi-Fi version. I guess they were planning also a pure camera version without Wi-Fi. Uh, this, again, does not work to start and stop uh, recording. Now, to start the motors, you know, after, after you bind the quadcopter by an up-down with a stick, uh, to start the motors, all you do is a quick upward movement on the throttle stick, and the motors will start in uh, idle. And when you want to do a takeoff, you can do automatic takeoff and automatic landing by pressing this button here. Quick press of that button after the motors are started. Um, if you crash or after a landing, do a long press and that will shut down the motors. Or you can bring this stick down and hold it down, but it could take quite a while for it to turn off the motors this way. So I recommend a, a prolonged press of this button to shut off the motors. Additionally, you have LEDs you can turn on and off by pressing this button here. And this is yaw trim, pitch trim, and roll trim. So that's it. Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, before we get started with the app, let's uh, do a quick test of uh, flyaway potential. I got the controller turned on and starting the motors and doing an automatic takeoff and then shutting down the transmitter. 1001, 1002, 1003. So it'll land itself. There is no flyaway potential. Thank goodness. Rebinding. And making sure that this is start will start and again emergency stop or stop just press this button here and that will shut down the motors right away okay let's open up the app and do some FPV flying with this okay this is the FYD FPV app and we're gonna hit the settings down here make sure everything's there it's fine auto set parameters right hand mode um, we are in English see that button there in the upper left corner if it's in Chinese press it to select English it'll go back and forth between Chinese and English and again make sure fixed height mode is turned on since this is an altitude hold quadcopter okay and then we're gonna hit play and we should see our FPV video and there it is and I'm gonna start recording and we're gonna start the motors and do automatic takeoff there it is 
I'm looking at the screen, it seems to be somewhat of a blue picture to it, but let's go upwind a bit. And I'm going to select headless mode. So this is forward. And I'm going to get into the screen and say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> and pushing forward and then turning the other way. Since I'm in headless mode, I can do this. And seeing how it works. Okay, I'm seeing uh, quite a bit of lag there. So the range, FPV range is not very good. Let's come out of headless mode. And fly normal. And see if I can, yeah, okay, I re regained uh, picture. Let's see if I can go straight above me, higher. And get some video of the area. And let's rotate from up there. Very fast yaw rate, by the way, I notice. There it is overhead. And there is some lag, of course. This is Wi-Fi. You use this FPV video mainly to aim the camera. Not to <laughs> fly FPV with, unfortunately. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it's because of the lag. And that's quite common with most FPV drones. Okay, let's come down a little bit lower. Let's try automatic landing. I press the land button. And there's its landing. And let's stop that one video there. Pressing the screen. Stop. Okay. I'm going to go back up again. And starting the video one more. Or actually, let's turn off the video. I want to take some pictures. So let's go into headless mode. And start the motors. And automatic takeoff. Get in the picture. And take another picture. <laughs> those, those are pictures with it. Now, start the recording again. We are recording. Let's try a flips. Let's take it upwind a bit. Going upwind. And that's up the forward flip. Going up a bit higher. Let's do a right flip. Left flip. So there's its flips. Let's go to higher rate. See how it flies. Oh man, head headless mode. There. Coming out of headless mode so we can see how maneuverable it is. Whoa. Going back to the beginner's rate. You know, the yaw on this, when you go to intermediate mode, let me bring it down and show you that. Yaw. Turning left. It continues turning after you let go of the stick. So it's kind of unflyable at higher rate. Okay, lower rate, it's pretty, pretty uh, fast yaw too. But let's try going over here, going upwind again, and try the flip again. It goes up higher and then drops <laughs> the flips. Okay. Yeah, it's quite a blue screen is what I'm seeing on my camera here, or my FPV video. Let's go up wind a bit. That can be fixed with white balance. Is there white balance available in here? Let me land it for a second, folks. Let's see if the uh, app has any white balance to adjust that uh, blue, bluish color outdoors. No. Apparently not. So, unfortunately, no. Now, notice in this app, it says VGA. I remember this FYD app, FPV app. If you press VGA, you're going to get VGA. You know, and it'll say 720p, but that's not true. <laughs> you have to be click VGA to get 720p video. It's just something weird with this app. Okay, let's do automatic takeoff again. Now, also, you can fly with the uh, app itself, but I don't recommend that because, uh, well, let's try it. <laughs> just try it. Okay, we're going to do the second part of this flight using the app only, just to show you that you can fly with the app. So I'm going to turn off the transmitter. Okay, before we go flying this with the app, there's something very important. 
um, if you hit the gear icon, make sure right hand mode is turned off. If right hand mode is turned on, the throttle is on the right. With right hand mode turned off, it puts it in mode 2, throttle on the left. So we should be good to go here. Okay, hitting uh, play. And uh, we have control of the quadcopter. Hitting recording, turning recording on. In the upper right hand corner, I am going to turn on um, headless mode, which is that button there. And then to start the motors, we have to move the throttle stick up and then hit automatic takeoff. Going up a bit higher. And pushing it forward. And turning the quadcopter toward me. So yeah, you can fly this with the phone. Let's come down a little lower so you can see me. <laughs> the thing with this app though is you get that annoying beep. You get the annoying beep, uh, headless mode beep. I'm going forward. So let's just do a little uh, walk around. Just showing you can simulate, uh, follow me. Tell you what, let's land that a bit. Auto land. Reason being, I want to lower the camera a bit. So you can see me when we go forward. There we go. Starting the motors again. Automatic takeoff again. I forgot. I had to point it this way. <laughs> auto take or auto landing. This time let's turn it around this way. Okay. So that is the headless mode direction. So starting the motors again. Auto takeoff. Pushing forward. Okay, that's forward now. Going up higher. Rotating. But yeah, the yaw on this is very super fast. See, I can't. I can't center it, <laughs> so we're going to do it this way. Let's try G-Sensor Control, how's about that? Which one is G-Sensor Control? That one. Go up a little bit higher. G-Sensor control is really jerky, <laughs> so I noticed that. So, you know, using the app, eh, I'm not so sure that's the best. And we're going to stop the motors there. Now, I'm not sure that's the end of the flight. Unfortunately, that appears to be our battery, folks. There is no more power, <laughs> so that's the flight time you get, that last uh, landing there. So I'm going to turn it off now. So that's the uh, Yao. S16, a FPV quadcopter, uh, Wi-Fi FPV 720p, folding arms. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.